Hello viewers, this is Revealing Light Tarot. Um, tonight I've had a request to look at NAFTA um, and to see whether that's going to proceed and what the position will be for Canada, Mexico and the US um, with that trade agreement. Um, it's currently being negotiated um, and had come to um, a stalemate uh, at the end of last week. Um, however, we we find out uh, we've found out since then, early this week, that uh, Canada will be back in Washington to hold more talks um, with the U.S. Uh, about NAFTA. Now, the sticking points, as far as I can see, are um, uh, are, are the uh, the uh, dairy uh, the tariffs on dairy farm dairy products. Um, and uh, chapter 19. Well, chapter 19 is 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 an independent arbiter, which uh, Justin Trudeau is 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 wanting the U.S. to have in that agreement. In his words, um, you know, Trump doesn't doesn't stick to his words. So we want we want an independent umpire. In other words, um, you know, involved in this agreement. Um, the U.S. in the past has said that it will go 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 it alone with Mexico uh, if Canada can't make those um, concessions. Um, the NAFTA is very important uh, to all three countries, um, including the U.S. Um, and to U.S. jobs. When I opened up this reading, um, the word I got uh, was bluster. So a lot of this. Um, a lot of uh, Trump coming out and say, you know saying you know well you know we're being ripped off or you know the usual things that he says. A lot of that is bluster, um, but behind the scenes uh, and it's it's it again it's there to captivate a, an audience. It's it's not real. It's not. Um, Sitting down at the table are trade officials, and and they're working through this. and And trade negotiations are a very complex, um, complex process. Um, but this this what's coming from Trump is is pure rhetoric. Um, so, positive indications that Canada is back at the table uh, in Washington D.C. on Tuesday. Um, and some uh, some non-negotiables that we already know about, and that is uh, Chapter 19, the independent umpire, and I think dairy farmers in Canada are saying no more concessions, no more concessions on dairy products. So um, uh, I guess what we want to know is will NAFTA be successfully negotiated to include Canada, the US and Mexico? Okay, so let's have a look. NAFTA negotiations. Okay, there, yeah, there are some sticking points. I'm getting there some sticking points. The US is not uh, is is going in and playing hardball. There's no question about that. Um, Mexico is uh, is is almost being used against Canada. Um, uh, Again, coming back to this bluster, this rhetoric, this, um, uh, I guess, performance for others to see, this show, if you like. Um, but I still feel that Canada is approaching this with logic uh, and with common sense um, and with... Um, I guess lo the long term, uh, the long term in mind. But Canada's coming to the table quite with with quite a lot of honesty and independence. You know, uh, they're not they're not bowing down to the U.S. Uh, at all um, because they're coming into this being very self sufficient. So that's what I feel Canada is doing. And I feel that the U.S. certainly at the superficial level, at the Donald Trump level, is it's it's a lot of it is about bluster. Um, so my feeling earlier on, and I don't know what the cards will say, my feeling earlier on is that the U.S. actually does need to make this deal with Canada, uh, include include Canada in NAFTA and it, and it needs to do it fairly quickly because it will be seen as a win for Donald Trump. There's a quite a significant 
um, feeling I, I get in, uh, certainly in Australia where I'm from, but from what I'm reading in America as well, that the Americans don't want to see the Canadians um, beaten around the head uh, in the way that they're, 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 they have been. They find that a little bit offensive. Um, that's not very neighbourly, is it? Um, so... My feeling is that um, in order to... I mean, the polls are looking fairly grim for, for Donald Trump at the moment. Approval is, I think, down in, around 32%. Um, you know, people don't trust him. You know, the usual things that you would expect to be coming forward are coming, are coming forward in the polls. If, he, if the Trump government can negotiate a successful NAFTA with US, Canada and Mexico, that will actually be a, a win for Donald Trump in in, uh, in the perceptions of, of, of Americans. So I think that I think that the US is coming to the table while it has been holding playing hardball. I think it's actually coming to the table wanting to make the deal. So regardless of the bluster that we're hearing, I think that that uh, the US wants the deal, wants the NAFTA to be negotiated and ratified between Canada, Mexico and the US. Let's see what the cards have got to say. Will the NAFTA be successfully negotiated between US, Mexico and Canada? Okay, the page of, of, of swords. Um, now, this is, uh, is, can indicate gossip and spying and prying eyes. Um, you know, this, this uh, seems to be um, perhaps... Well, my feeling it, it may be that this has been the intent that the US has come to the table with. So this bluster that I talked about, this pitting will go with the Mexico alone, this isolating Canada, you know, this this is not... Uh, this is fairly calculated um, on the part of the US. Or well, I should say Donald Trump, not the US. Uh, the Donald Trump's government. The Knight of Swords, to me, um, represents... Uh, it actually represents uh, Canada in this situation, charging forward. I think I did a, a reading uh, in relation to Canada before and we, we got similar sort of cards around around Canadian attitudes that, that they're very much... Um, uh, I mentioned the, the uh, you know, the, the, the self... Sufficiency of, of Canada, the the approaching the um, the negotiations with honesty, um, but also logic and fast thinking. Um, so it seems to me that there there is that spirit that is being brought to bear in the NAFTA from from Canada, as opposed to the bluster and the uh, the rhetoric and uh, you know the. Or, well, this is the card of looking over one's shoulder, you know, almost spying. Um, that is is uh, characteristic, the negativity, I guess, which is characteristic of the, the Trump government's rhetoric around NAFTA at the moment. Um, OK, so the Seven of, of, of Pentacles uh, is about hard work, but also about delayed success and waiting for a result. So um, I'm thinking at the moment that uh, there may be de a delay still in the negotiation of NAFTA, uh, even though my feeling was very much that uh, the US needed to... Uh, that the Trump government needed to have NAFTA negotiated with Canada and Mexico, Mexico as a win-win um, to put before uh, the people. Uh, it, this, this reading is telling me there st may still be further delays. Let's look a bit harder and see what else we can see. So again, um, the relationship uh, uh, in the past or has been um, has been a, a good one, um, but uh, this card, the Page of Swords, would indicate that that relationship has been uh, has been uh, dragged through the mud a little bit. Um, and again, uh, competing forces um, that are that I think uh, is representing the negotiations, the trade negotiations themselves. Um, 
what stays, what goes, who's going to win, who's going to lose, who's going to have to make concessions. There is still hope. There's hope that, that, that these negotiations will be successful and that NAFTA will be negotiated between the US, Mexico and Canada. The Ace of Pentacles uh, is, is looking at um, um, new, new finances, new, new, new jobs, new, uh, new investments, new income sources. So it seems to me that, that the US is pushing for new, new income uh, streams, I guess, well, new, new markets for their, for their um, perhaps for their farmers, um, for their dairy farmers. Um, someone's going to be left out in the cold. Someone's going to be isolated. Someone is, is being, uh, I guess, uh, this could mean that um, the, the Trump government is actually trying to isolate, divide and conquer, isolate Canada. Um, by saying they're going to go go it alone with with Mexico, the Ace of Swords very much in in the future position is about cutting through, if I can say the BS, um, if you want if for want of a better word, uh, but it is it is about mental clarity, um, and uh, and I guess um, uh, cutting through uh, the rhetoric, I guess, um, to to achieve clarity in the situation. So don't be surprised, I think, if, um, if you know, it, perhaps at some point in the future, if there is going to be delays, if there is going to be further bluster and rhetoric around NAFTA, don't be surprised if, the, if, um, if people start to speak out and speak their mind. We, we saw Justin Trudeau already do that by saying, we want um, Chapter 19 included in NAFTA because we don't trust President Trump to keep his word. So, to me, there might be, if there are any further delays, uh, we expect people, ex I think, expect the, the Canadians to step up and, and call it. They'll call it for what it is. I just want to see, can, despite the delays, um, our negotiations are going to proceed. So we might see some further delays, some further delays around the various sticking points. But are negotiations going to proceed? Okay, so the, the emperor has, has jumped out at me. Um, and uh, that is about strategic planning. So it seems to me, well, it's you know also about authority and and um, the rule the, the rule of law, um, but it's also about strategic planning. Um, and I think with the Ace of Swords, where we have this mental clarity coming through, um, uh, we might have we might have some some strategic planning as well. Now, the Ace of Wands also jumped out um, to me uh, when, I, when, that, when the Emperor fell out, uh, and that, that is about um, new, new jobs, new plans, new, uh, new projects. So, from that reading, I think what we can see is that... Uh, the, you, the Donald Trump's government has very much come into the negotiations in a negative way with, um, with a, a specific agenda and using bluster and rhetoric to, uh, to, to put pressure on, on trading partners um, to, to, in order to develop new income streams for, um, for uh, those in America, uh, I'm assuming for farmers. Don't forget the Chinese tariffs are biting uh, American farmers at the moment. Canada's coming into the negotiations very much with logic, with, um, with clarity, with strategy. Um, however, there are many competing forces on Canada as it goes into these negotiations, and in some ways they're a little bit bound because 
Canada needs NAFTA as much as the US as the US needs NAFTA as well. But I've got to say, um, I have to say, I have to clarify this: that while uh, Donald Trump has been blustering and using his rhetoric and slapping tariffs here and there, let's slap a tariff on this one, let's slap a tariff on that one. Europe and other countries are actually forging ahead and uh, into new markets and, and, and they're making deals with new trading partners. People, um, even in the Pacific where I am, uh, the Asia-Pacific region, America withdrew from out, from that trade deal uh, in this Asia Pacific region. We went ahead with other partners in the in our in our region, and we went ahead with that trade deal. So the danger for America is isola isolation. That this bluster, this rhetoric, this um, I guess uh, lack of of coming to the table in a, in a positive sense um, uh, to to achieve this outcome, but going about it the wrong way, <laughs> um, you know, publicly putting pressure and, and, um, and in, you know, almost insulting um, uh, uh, other, other neighbours and um, very much risks isolating themselves. So in the future we can expect, I think, we can expect some further delays, further negotiations. There's nothing, it's not going to be solved um, or ratified uh, completely, uh, you know, in the next day or so. Um, there will be more uh, work to do around the sticking points, uh, perhaps compromises needed. Um, but there's hope. There's hope that agreement can be reached. And very much... Um, uh, Canada is approaching this, cutting through all of this rhetoric, all of this bluster, with clarity and um, and logic. Um, and uh, we see here that uh, good good signs for for NAFTA to go ahead. Um, you know, strategic planning on the part of uh, perhaps all parties, uh, perhaps those behind the scenes, um, are working. Uh, more in the spirit of cooperation than what what we would actually uh, believe if we read uh, uh, Donald Trump's comments in the press, um, and the Ace of Wands is is probably quite a positive card because it talks about new new projects and um, you know I guess the green light, new jobs, new projects, um, and to me that that's a very positive card for NAFTA to proceed between Canada, Canada Mexico, and US. They're my, uh, that's my take on uh, the current NAFTA negotiations. Um, the, that's what the cards are indicating or are saying at this point in time. Um, let's see what the next few days will bring uh, and, and the next week or so. Uh, a, a couple of days are, a very, are quite a long time in the life of the Trump government at this present time. Thank you, viewers.